OMG, hi! Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're not new. Usually it goes the other way around, whatever. I should be saying welcome back to me, because I haven't uploaded a video in like, I don't know, probably a year at this point, maybe 10 months or whatever. So hi, I'm back. I'm gonna try to be, like continually be back too. Listen, you know, I feel like every year around the summertime for the past like two years, so I guess not that long, but I make like a comeback video. I'm like, yes, I'm back. I'm doing it. It's going to be great. And then like I stop. But this time I'm going to try to keep going. And let me tell you why. I think I'm like emotionally ready for it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> welcome to my first video that I've recorded in like a year. Can you tell? Can you tell I haven't recorded a voiceover in a while? Um, I'll talk about the art first and then I'll talk about me in case you want to like put on your own music and just watch the speed paint. But this illustration is one of my friend Logan's character, Mira, from a webcomic that she's developing called Mira's Curse. It's not out yet. But like when it is out, I'll try to plug it on my social media because Logan is like so talented. I'm constantly like, I don't know, I sometimes I just sit and think about like, wow, I know so many good, talented people. Like it's crazy. And Logan is certainly one of them. So yeah, this is her character. Honestly, I don't know a lot about Mira's story. Um, we go to the same school. And so for our finals for majors last semester... Logan made like uh like the, the intro for the comic and so like I know a little bit I know like the the comic's gonna be called Mira's Curse so Mira has a curse that's kind of all I know and there's some like imagery of fire and snakes so I was like okay like we'll go with that um this illustration is really fun to work on I'm kind of working like on like, I'm developing some new, like, style things. Um, I don't have a speed paint in front of me because, like, my computer is across the room and it's charging. I'm trying to be good to it. But basically, it's, um, like, instead of, like, it's kind of like cell shading, but, it's, like, you select it with the lasso tool. And then, like, I got these brushes from True Grit Supply Company or whatever their name is. I'll, I'll correct it on the screen if that's not the name. I always like, I always have it one way in my head. That's not the actual company name, but they make these really nice textured, like grainy brushes. And so I've been experimenting with using those for shading and I'm really into it. I can't lie. Um, I would say the hardest part of this illustration was the background and like the accent elements that come in I started off with trees and then like I wasn't feeling trees so then that changes and then I was so lost for a while on what to include like on like I wanted some like white accents on top because Bira has scars so I wanted to like I don't know I thought it'd be fun to have some stuff to go along with it and initially I did snakes like a lot of snakes two or like three or four but I was like, no, that's too much. So then I deleted it. And I was like, okay, let's try some like fog. I don't know. And then I tried the fog and it was too much still. And so I got rid of the fog and then I went back to the snakes, <laughs> but less this time, only like two at the bottom. And then I was like, no, that's still not enough. And I started just like, I don't know, doodling like a dagger. And then that made me think about like Our Lady of Sorrows, like that sort of like, uh, like, you know, the statue or the painting with a woman with seven swords, four on one side, three on the other. And I was like, ooh, oh my God, let's do that. Because I was really tempted to do... Like, I don't, like, there's no sainthood here, but I love, I just love the, like, sainthood imagery with, like, the halo, like, I don't know. I'm not personally religious, but it's just, like, so, like, a visual motif that I'm always into. So I wanted to do that, but I was like, no, I don't know enough about Mira as a character to, uh, deify her, <laughs> or, like, give her sainthood, so you'll see a lot of a lot of fiddling time is spent at the end and also I doing this made me realize like really come to terms with how many layers I use nowadays I used to be the type of person who like and I occasionally I still am where I use like three layers max like I do a sketch and then like base colors and then I paint it it's like that like how to draw a meme where it's like 
draw the circle and draw the lines and then draw all the face and the details. Like <laughs> that used to be my process. But with like line based illustration, I find it, I don't know, easier to like, I like to arrive at colors, not to get too art school e on you guys, but and instead of like really firmly knowing like, yes, these are all the colors I'm going to sorry i lost my train of thought because the door moved and i was like oh no somebody trying to come into my room right now i'm so sorry i'm recording i'm at home also uh i hope the construction noise isn't too loud outside like i live on like a dead end street middle of nowhere <laughs> asmr time i live on the street in the middle of nowhere dead end rural town and our only neighbor sold his house and the people who bought it are tearing it down and building it back up again for some reason. So, you know, a little gentrification in the background going on. Okay, I just listened to the voiceover again. I remember where I was going. Everything's fine. Everything's cool. I'm a really good voiceover artist. Um, so I like... I, I like the workflow of a lot of layers, like not too many, of course, like I've seen people who have like over a hundred and I'm like, I don't know how you live like that. <laughs> like that's a lot, but I like to be able to kind of use adjustment modes and use like layers at different opacity and kind of arrive at a final color scheme versus like knowing exactly what I want to do ahead of time. It's kind of more like traditional painting in that way where you can like glaze colors like transparently instead of having to have like the exact mix at the start. Like I just find it makes it a more um more enjoyable experience and also looks better usually. So that's my thought process with it. Um Oh, I guess in terms of the brushes I'm using, I I want to make a video about my favorite brushes for both Clip Studio and Procreate, so maybe two different videos, but I want to do that, so I don't know, I won't talk too much about the brushes here, because I do want to make that video. Yeah, I guess that's it for the art. I don't know if I have anything else to say about the art specifically. I guess if I do, I'll cycle back to it. Um, let's talk about me. Forget the art on my art channel. Let's talk about me. How have I been? I'm kidding, of course. Uh, I've been good, generally. Uh, I'm now a senior in college, which is a weird thing to think about. Like, I'm a rising senior. I just finished my junior year. So, next year is my last year. That's weird as hell. Uh, I don't know. It's making me... Like, I, I remember the summer between junior and senior year of high school really clearly, and so now that that's happening again, but for college, it's kind of making me feel weird in a lot of ways, but uh, junior year was good. Mecca's weird, my, the school that I go to, and they have like a two-year major, so they won't anymore they're changing it to three but my <laughs> as a junior it was my first year as a major is what I'm trying to say as an illustration major and so that was a good experience I'm glad to actually like be a major like the being able to like have classes about like the history of illustration and to be able to work on like the different projects like overall I really enjoyed it and also for the most part I enjoy the faculty there's a couple people where I'm like, uh, like I don't know I don't know guys but yeah um I'm glad the school year is over though it was very long I think you know with the circumstances TM it made everything really difficult and with the circumstances TM uh, Mecca didn't have, like, proper breaks. <laughs> like, we got, like, two days off for Thanksgiving, when, when usually, like, Mecca gave us a week, and so that was weird, and we couldn't go home either, and then instead of, like, a week-long spring break, we had two two-day breaks. <laughs> we had, like, a Tuesday and Wednesday at one point, and a Wednesday and a Thursday at or no, a Thursday and a Friday at another point, and it's like, okay, like, thanks, guys. Initially, they were only going to give us one, but we were all like, what the hell is wrong with you? So they gave us two, and both times it, like, totally fucked up my schedule. Like, 
because you know when you get two days off you want more like you know like I don't know Ed, yeah I'm glad it's I'm glad the school year is over <laughs> it was very long um in terms of like my art oh I, this isn't news to anybody who follows me on any other social media but I haven't talked about it on YouTube yet uh very intensely got into a tv show for the first time in my life because I've never been the type of person to like watch like I don't know I don't watch a lot of like tv like i don't know i watch i watch a lot of reality tv with my parents and you know that's fun but i'm not gonna go draw like fan art of the people on top chef like that's just like not <laughs> like 90 day fiance like that's not <laughs> that's not anything but got into hannibal <laughs> that's not like i said that's not news to anybody who follows me on instagram and twitter i'm gonna assume that most people watching this are coming from there maybe so Yep, got really into that, uh, like, I, you know, thinking about, like, I don't know, with sophomore year of college, I cannot remember, like, anything that I was into, like, I look at the sketchbooks that I had, and I'm like, okay, I guess I was, like, into things, but I don't remember them as intensely, because fall semester, so, like, this past fall, I, like, initially, like, got into Bill and Ted, <laughs> that was fun, that was, like, a fun moment, I don't know why exactly that happened, but really fun I was in a zine it was great and then uh I don't know midway through October I just remember like seeing people draw Hannibal stuff and I'm like damn I should watch Hannibal and then my roommate Jay was like yeah you should and then uh <laughs> I watched all of it in like a week and a half which is so like rare for me I never do that with shows and I have not done it with a show since <laughs> so yeah love Hannibal I don't want a season four um <laughs> like uh, you're, you and I are at a point where I, it's settled down now. Uh, it was very rampant, brain rot, like worms in my brain, only Hannibal, only Hannibal, but now I can enjoy it like a normal person, and for that I'm grateful. Um, <laughs> oh, also, exciting commission, wee woo wee woo, again, if you follow me on social media, you already know this happened, because it happened back in November, but I haven't been able to talk about it on here, so, my favorite musician ever, Don Bellion, my bestie, basically, um, hired me <laughs> he actually hired me for a commission he did a virtual concert and I did the like art for it and like there was a package where you could get like the VIP stuff and he also got a poster I did the poster basically <laughs> you beat around the bush I did the poster it was awesome it was kind of stressful because I it was like I don't know Mecca is weird I don't know if this happens at every art school but sometimes it feels like finals aren't even like the most stressful part it's like the month before finals and so it was during that time and I remember uh John's manager well no John's manager messaged me on social media and he was like hey do you want to do this thing and internally I was like ah but I was like on, on the surface I was like oh yes of course and so then Jordan Cullen from Lawrence the band called me and was like hey so we were looking for somebody to do this poster and like it's kind of a tight turnaround and like at my desk I was like mentally like fucking I don't know like Sherlock like psh, psh, moving everything out of my brain like out of my schedule in order to make room for whatever like tight turnaround they were talking about like I was prepared like if it was like 48 hours I probably would have done it I would have asked for more money but I would have done it they paid me well though and I also got like a Christmas bonus which is like not that's not normal behavior for a commission but I'm so grateful for it yeah love John Bellion <sighs> my bestie prized Instagram mutual and uh, patron <laughs> at this point. Speaking of patron, I want to make a Patreon at some point soon. <laughs> that was not a planned transition, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I want to do that. I don't know exactly what I want to put on it. I feel like that's the part I am like struggling the most with. I was thinking maybe putting like the real-time speed paints on there would be cool. Um, Because uh you know now that I'm home actually this is a very recent development and the reason why I'm doing YouTube again my internet at home got upgraded <laughs> like when I tell you our internet was so slow our internet was so slow 
and I just like doing YouTube is like impossible because it's like okay do I want to spend a day uploading this video and making it so the rest of my family can't up do anything on the internet no but now that's not a problem we're chilling and we're great so yeah that was something if you have anything you'd want to see on, on a patreon let me know uh i'm also developing a web comic and i want to make like a youtube series <laughs> not that serious but i want to i want to make videos about like the process of working on it so i won't talk about it a whole lot here but i am working on it and like this is happening like i've worked on other stuff before and they're too unruly again i'll talk about it more in a different video but I have an idea and it's good and that we're gonna do it we are gonna do it and so when I make the patreon I'll probably make it so that you know you can pay like two bucks or something and see the uh, updates before I post them anywhere else but yeah okay that's it for me I didn't think I'd be able to talk for as long as I needed to but here we are thank you if you stuck it out to this long and you listen to me ramble about random stuff i appreciate it i appreciate you i hope you've been well over the past year i know it's been hard i believe in you i don't know who you are but pretend i do i believe in you i support you and i hope you continue to do well and if you're not doing well right now i hope it gets better basically uh yeah and so i will be back I will be back threateningly. I will be back on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know schedule. I'm kind of just gonna go with it and however much I upload is however much I upload. I'd like to do at least once a week. I might do more. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling it right now. So if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you did all the fun YouTube things like liking and commenting and subscribing. Thank you for doing all those things while I was away. Like, I don't know, I look back at that, like, Uni Pasca pen review, and it has, like, 24,000 views or whatever, I'm like, damn, I think I'm almost at, like, 700 subscribers or something, so thank you, that means a lot, I'm, I'm glad I can give you some enjoyment, or some something, some entertainment, maybe, and yeah, I will see you guys next time, bye!